Yeah, so we uh, have some damn pavilion. Uh, we gonna go up some small cabins. There's been quite a few small fish around the, the last couple of days. See, the water's nice and flat and calm. They do prefer the, the calm water here. And uh, it's a bit clean, so we should get some fish before the sun comes up. Uh, see two nice fish already came out this morning as well. At the moment we're throwing some small chocker baits. Uh, not too far, it's a lot of reef here. Uh, also, you can feel a lot of small fish in the water, so it should be an interesting morning. So let's see what comes up. Oh, we're enjoying this rod, eh? It's really, yeah, being a five ounce, uh, Poseidon Edibles, it is a lot. Good day for is really fast a mile, especially given the four ounce sink, I'm throwing a four ounce at the moment, uh, without any effort. Summer months in Cape Town or Falls Bay area lures in many anglers in search of a cob. Falls Bay has several different areas where anglers would target the cob. May it be on live bait or dead baits. The size limit in Cape Town is a minimum of 50 centimeters, should you want to keep some of them. Cobb is known to be light sensitive, and fishing in the dark lends itself to better results, as well as fishing the brownish, dirty water. Oh, that's a really good one. Bite mark here. That's something decent. Didn't happen now, but yeah, quite recent. Look at that side. It's about 45 centimeters. Yes, yeah, so we got a small copy now. Uh, it was on clean chocolate bite. The water is actually very clean this morning. I think it's gonna, we can probably fish for another half an hour or so. Maybe an hour before the sun really comes out. So it's very smaller chocker baits, clean chocker baits. Of course the water's are nice and clean. Well, not nice and clean, but clean. So, uh, yeah, let's see if the bite stays on for the next half an hour or so. Most of these spots in Cape Town can often deliver some prize catches as several species are out on the prey. And using the correct tackle is essential, especially in these reefy foul areas. Yeah, there's a flat visit. Oh, feeling rocks in the back, eh? There's not much you can do when a much bigger fish like a duck bull decides to pick you up, especially with the foul rocks around. That's a good deal. And unfortunately this one won the fight. Okay, so I picked up something decent there, probably a, a flat fish or something toothy. But uh, yeah, eventually got bitten off, so... That was fun early in the morning. Okay, we're going to start a little uh, trick along the pool wall. Right, so uh, you guys can see the, the little fan over the ocean. It's uh, very, very flat. So we've got a bit of scattered reef all over, really. So the fish are coming, they sit on these reefs, especially when the water is out and flat. We've got a bit of drop off here. Uh, I'm going to do about a 50-60 meter cast. 
see what happens. He's right here, eh? Using light aligner on your Senko is essential in these reefy areas and can quite often allow you to still land your fish. Not in my grip. Beautiful swords over here. Sunny fish, eh? Yeah. Good. 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 Another one. Most of the time in Falls Bay, the southeast is what's needed to bring in that colder, dirty water, and with that, the cob. Yeah, so yeah, this is about 50, just over, so we keep this off the pot, eh? Beautiful the cob also. Get that soft little dangle. But an extra float in the, in the flat water makes a difference. Oh, I believe so. Right, so like a session at the pool, some in the pavilion, uh, also safe spot to fish with. And um, yeah, got some got some smaller cobbies, uh, always good fun, uh, especially on the braid and the, and the longer rod. So yeah, stay tuned and see what happens next time.